OK, so it's 11 years ago. It's in this very spot. Silvio and some friends were in the water down there. Ele me deu uma dose de de vida e eu subi quando eu ia descendo eu vontade de urinar só que aí eu tava. And after a little period of time, Silvio, you know, felt the need to urinate, you know, as as, as happens. He knew the, the story about the kangaroo, so he actually sort of took himself partially out of the water. Eu fui na hora que eu fui urinar quando eu me espantei e o bicho estava entrando e tal. While he was relieving himself, suddenly he said, you know, he just had a bit of a shock. And you know, the first thing he knew was that the fish was already, you know, inside. Only you know, just the end of its tail was out. Trying to grab hold of it, but it's a very smooth fish, a bit like a bar of soap. No good, you know, no success pulling it out. So basically, just ran up onto the bank to try and get some help. I decide to throw a net out to see if I can catch one of these critters. Here we go. Ah. This is almost exactly what Silvio described, uh, you know, something going in one direction and just not wanting to come into reverse at all. Look at that, I can actually feel its spines digging in when it does that. It was actually walking using its head. Now imagine that in an orifice. This fish is just leaking blood. It's not this fish's blood, it's something it's been feeding on. And uh, it is just an absolute nightmare, you know, a real sort of vampire fish, this thing. A fish like this may have entered Silvio in search of a blood meal, but little did it know that its mistake would result in an unprecedented medical procedure lasting two hours. Também não se conhece nada a respeito de um ataque desse peixe do que deve ser feito. Concorda? The first thought was to a bit like um, a bit like a hook that's got a barb on it. Um, actually, pulling it back the way it went in is not always a good idea. He was thinking of actually sort of coming in from the side, coming in from the from the perineum, and actually trying to sort of pull the fish out head first. But he thought that because you know it had been such a long time in there, they would actually, and also the other fish were starting to rot a bit. Maybe try and pull it out with the endoscope, you know, out tail first the way that it went in. The tail of the fish was about here, about an inch in. And so the head of it would have been somewhere like here. And then what happened was that the, the pincers were gradually you know, manipulated out of the hole here. There we go. Grabbed hold of the fish just, uh, just in front of the tail. And then using the camera, and then the whole apparatus just gradually, gradually, very delicately moved out. Se aquela força é o suficiente para o peixe vir sem cortar, sem partir, sem sem danificar. Apparently it was necessary to pull with a, a certain amount of force, but feeling that it's not doing any any damage. Unfortunately, you know, it did it did come out um, eventually. The fish was sent to the National Institute of Amazonian Research to be formally identified. Thus confirming, after centuries of speculation, that a fish has entered a human in the most intimate of places. This is a somewhat momentous and possibly delicate occasion. I'm bringing Silvio back to meet his fish. Uh, this one. Silvio, is that here? Cangiro. Uh, <coughs> but this is actually the first time since he had the surgery that Silvio has seen this fish, this very fish. Quer pegar assim? Não, não, não. I just asked Silvio if he, if he would like to handle it, and he, he very, uh, very definite no. I think, I think once was enough. So maybe if I leave it in my hand, but I'm. I'm quite struck by how large it is. It's big, right? It's not a fish, but it's... It's big. I thought it was smaller. I saw it inside of this glass when the doctor showed me when I was... You know, he's looking at it now, thinking, you know, I didn't realize it was that big. I thought it was smaller. It really does sort of beg a belief that something of that size would have entered a human. It really does sort of beg a belief that something of that size could burrow into you. It looks a really sinister fish, that dark black colour, and it gets that from... The fisherman was actually half inside the mouth of the fish, just the legs of the fisherman sticking out. 